Boatworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boatworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. If you've been following my videos for the past few weeks, you know that I'm about ready to start laying up a bunch of glass up on this boat right here. My estimations are right. I'm going to go through about six gallons of poly resin and 35 yards, 35 yards of fabric, a mixture of trap strand and 1708. So this got me thinking a little bit about everything or something that I've heard over the years when working with large batches of resin, which is that if you're not careful, uh, a mixed batch can actually combust and, and start a fire or actually get hot enough to, to ignite something. So, you know, when I'm mixing up my, my batches up here, I'm going to be mixing up large batches. And so, you know, that I just want to kind of do a little bit of an experiment. I mean, and this is by no means going to be definitive at all because I'm just going to do it once because I don't want to waste the resin. But it's just been something I've been curious about. You know, over the years, I've melted my share of cups. I've had them start to smoke. I've, I've, you know, I've, I'm sure as a lot of you have as well. But I've never actually had a cup get so hot that it actually caught on fire or lit something off that was next to it. And also, I've never heard of, I, I don't know of anybody personally where that's happened to them either. So this is more of just kind of, you know, appeasing my curiosity, I guess, for, for lack of better words. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to mix up a quart of uh, laminating poly resin. I'm going to catalyze it at 2%. And then I'm just going to set it on my bench and uh, let the cameras roll and see what happens. I'm fully anticipating the cup melting. Hopefully, it's not going to make too big of a mess. But uh, we'll see. I'm going to put a piece of paper over on top and keep an eye on that. So if the paper starts to, yeah, I guess, turn brown or look like it's getting ready to combust, then I'm just going to take the whole works, bring it outside, and you know, if, if, it's, if it gets hot enough to discolor the paper, then that gives me my answer that yes, it is certainly a possibility. If it doesn't, well, then we'll see. I've got a little uh, laser temperature sensor thing that I'm going to be shooting the cup with uh, about every couple minutes, you know, every minute or two, once things really start rolling and just kind of keep a log of, of how fast this stuff heats up. So let's get some resin mixed up and get this party started. Now I do want to mention that I would not recommend you doing this at home or inside of a garage. Today, originally, it was supposed to be 70 degrees outside, and I was hoping to be able to do this out there. But wind from the lake is coming in, and it's only at 55, if it's lucky. <laughs> so uh, just to be able to keep things you know, in, in proper uh, curing temps, I'm going to do it here in the building. Now, I'm going to have a fire extinguisher right here, and the, my garage door opener is turned on. So if things start to get a little hairy, I'm just going to open the door and pitch the whole works right outside this bay door, which is about five feet away from me. So uh, that said, let's get this mixed up. I'm going to pour, well, I don't want to, I don't want to waste too much resin though. I'm going to pour 20 ounces. That's, that's, that's a fair amount, right? <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to use this. Okay, 20 ounces. Okay, there's 20. And 20 ounces, if I wanted to go close to 2 cc's, I believe that's about 12, about 12 cc's of mech. All right. Eh, it might be a little hot. It's closer to 13 cc's. Okay, here's my little laser temp. Right now, this material is reading 60, 67 degrees. So let's uh, 
get this mixed up, and then I'll take readings about, yeah, about every minute just to kind of see how things are, uh, are moving along. I was really hoping to be able to do this outside because if nothing else, I know it's going to stink. This is, this is quite a bit of resin to just leave sitting in a cup like this. All right. Now we wait. <laughs> okay, now I, I mix this up at 515. Well, the max temp that we got up to was 288, which is nowhere near combustion. I mean, water boils at 212, and I think most plastics, you know, once you start getting around the four, 400, 450 range, you know, then there's kind of a risk for, uh, for fire. I, I believe newspaper will light off around 425, give or take. Um, uh, and it's right now it's already in its cool down cycle. So I think, you know, as far as this being able to actually light off, I think, I, 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 don't, I don't see that happening right now because it's already in the cool down cycle. No. Well, it has been 24 hours since I first mixed this up. And to be honest, I'm kind of disappointed about everything. I mean, right now, it, it, in, my, in my opinion, this experiment has just been a complete and total bust. The, the cup never even melted, which, I mean, it definitely got deformed, <laughs> but it, it did not melt, which I was, you know, somewhat anticipating. And during the cool down cycle, it never even cracked. If I had to, if I had to guess, I would say, in large part, it's due to the, the temperature that I was working with in here. Now, like I had mentioned, this was 65 to 67 degrees in here. And for this large of, of, uh, of, of mixture, it should have just completely blown right through this first cup and possibly even the second cup. What I think prevented that was just the fact that it was a little bit cooler. The reaction that was happening in here uh, just happened a little bit more gradually. It didn't just, you know, take right off and get up to a real, real high temperature. Also, volume. You know, we mixed up uh, 20 ounces here, or I mixed up 20 ounces here. And if, if, for example, if you were working with, say, like two quarts or a gallon or five gallons, the, the, the result and the, and the, the reaction would be much, much different. Uh, resins like this, they cure exothermically, which means that as they start to cure, they generate heat. And the more heat that it generates, the faster that, that uh, curing process happens. So it becomes somewhat of a compound situation. Now, if this was, say, a gallon or even five gallons, I'm, I, again, I'm guessing here, um, there may have been a good chance that this would have actually gotten hot enough to, I don't know if it would have self-combust, you know, if it would have uh, self-combusted. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> <laughs> if it would have spontaneously combust, uh, but I would be willing to bet that it might have gotten warm enough or hot enough uh, to where it could have ignited something that, say, was like right next to it. Say, if you had it, you know, a bunch of uh, paper or cardboard or something laying next to it, I would be willing to guess that there, you know, that that would be a very real possibility. What I was hoping for, I mean, I'm not going to say that I was, you know, shooting for like a fire and brimstone kind of result, but I was, you know, really kind of hoping for something a little bit more dramatic. I mean, I, I got nothing on this. So at, at this point, I really don't know what else, you know, more there is to do here. I, I, I would like to, let's see if we can crack this out of here. It looks like there's a, a, a stress fracture right across going down like this, and also you can start to see some other fractures, you know, kind of working its way up and through here, uh, running more vertically. Actually, this looks kind of cool from the side. Huh. 
Now, you've heard me talk over and over about how brittle poly resin can actually be if it's you know, a little bit too thick. You know, it's what I call resin rich or glass starved, I guess. So just for the sake of, of capping off this failed experiment, I think this thing needs to hit some cement. Yep. If nothing else, it'll make me feel better. So, <laughs> well, what are you going to do? If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe to this channel. And as always, if you enjoyed this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up and share it on your social media. As always, if you have any questions, comments, please leave those down below. And until next time, thanks for watching. This has been a Boatworks Today Protection.